When extreme weather strikes, a few seconds can make the difference between life and death. So imagine coming up on a disaster like this. You call 911, but sometimes it can be hard to describe the scene to the operator, or you might not be able to talk at all. But soon, you'll be able to share live video from your smartphone directly to 911 dispatchers. For more on this new technology and how it could help save lives, we're joined by the CEO of the National Emergency Number Association, Brian Fontes. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. And what is this technology going to enable us to do that you know, responders haven't been able to do as well in the past? Well, I always think of a picture is worth a thousand words. And in this scenario, the 911 professional who answers that emergency call will have the opportunity to work with the caller to activate that caller's camera on their wireless device. Having that video capability will enable the 911 professional to better assess the emergency situation. How much time do you suspect that this is going to save? Because I feel like a lot of times 911 operators and the person that's called 911, they spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's going on first. Does this give them a clear picture quicker? Oh, I think it will enable uh, seconds to be shaved off the call. And I think it's vitally important in situations where the caller cannot talk for the caller's own safety and the ability to see a video to get a situation awareness to that 911 professional and ultimately to the field responders will provide a more efficient, more effective response. Now, Brian, the way I understand it, not only for this to whole, whole thing to work, not only does the smartphone user have to you know, upgrade to the new OSs and have the capability on their side, but don't the call centers have to have certain capabilities on their side in order to make this live video sharing and photo sharing happen? You're absolutely right. Today's 911 centers are basically voice only 911 centers with some of them having texting capabilities. The ability to use video will either be brought into the 911 center and what we call over the top, an application that will be provided by probably a third party provider. Uh, it will work, but it will not be integrated into the 911 system itself for some time. And so the efforts we have is to move 911 into the 21st century to allow data such as video or photographs to come in directly to the system within that 911 center without being an over the top or having to rely on a third party. When, when would you see that becoming, you know, coming to fruition and, and which locations um, are, is this service going to be available to first? Well, the service in an over the top uh, environment will be dependent upon those who are subscribing. In other words, the third party vendors that are going to be utilizing the video coming in that will then be able to transport it to the 911 center. That'll be the first hurdle to overcome. And then secondly, the second hurdle to overcome is to move that so that it's integrated into the systems that 911 centers utilize. Now, Brian, isn't this uh, important to accelerate the, the deployment of? Because the way I understand it, uh, the 911 call responders are often very overwhelmed and under-resourced, and don't we need to move as fast as possible to not only make their job easier, but e make them even more effective? I absolutely agree with what you just said. And I think this takes a couple of key points to achieve that more timely deployment of technology that will enable video and other data forms to come into the center. It requires leadership at all levels of government and it requires funding. Two key elements to ensure that we can move into 21st century technology. You know, we talk about a lot here on um, the Weather Channel, Brian, is natural disasters, right? And we think a lot about when 911 is called for emergencies like flooding, tornadoes, wildfires. What role would you see a video playing in circumstances like that? Oh, I think it plays val a valuable role. There's no question. Again, a picture's worth a thousand words. You'll have a better comprehension of the level of flooding or fires or other types of impacts uh, due to weather or man-made disasters. And it's just, it's timely, it's real in terms of this is what the situation is. So I think it's vitally important to have this capability inside 911 centers. 
Well, it's fascinating, and it may be long overdue considering where technology is these days. But Brian Font, CEO of the National Emergency Number Association, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much.